today we're going to make a basic meatball, uh, an Italian meatball, I guess you would say, uh, one that you would use in your spaghetti sauces and such like that. Of course, you can eat meatballs however you want. I don't understand the reason why people go out and buy frozen meatballs at the store when real meatballs, homemade, are so easy to make and can be done within 25 to 30 minutes. The same length of time it's going to take you to throw frozen meatballs in the oven and cook them. For this recipe you will need the following. A bowl, a pound of hamburger, thereabouts, one egg, you'll need black pepper, garlic powder, parsley, salt, Liam Perring's wish sear sauce, and breadcrumbs and a pan. So we start out with our pound of hamburger. This is actually about a pound and a quarter. Like I said, thereabouts is what you need. Break it up just a little for right now and add one egg. You will then add approximately a half cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. As you can tell, I do not measure everything. You will see that in a lot of my recipes. I do not measure. It's a rough guesstimate, and it was the way I was taught to cook. So, we add some black pepper, about a teaspoon and a half. Some garlic powder, about a teaspoon, parsley flakes, I would say about a tablespoon and a half. About a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. You don't want to add too much Worcestershire, but it does add to the flavor. And not a lot of people use it, but I do use it. After that, mix it all together. Yes, use your hands. That will help get it all mixed together. Once you don't see any breadcrumbs, just dry breadcrumbs, that's when you know you've got it mixed enough. Once you've mixed it, then you're going to start making little meatballs about one inch in size, an inch to an inch and a half, depending on the size that you like. Remember that does fluctuate on how long you're going to cook them for. We're going to be baking these in the oven at 350. So I have already turned on my oven to preheat it to 350 and they'll cook for about 20 to 25 minutes after I get them done. I have coated the pan with a non-stick coating just to help out and now we'll just make the meatballs. Try and keep them all the same size so that way they will cook evenly. Now we're just going to put them in the oven. As I stated, it takes them 20 to 25 minutes to be done. Then you can decide if you want to put them in a spaghetti sauce or maybe you want to make meatball sandwiches or whatever else you may want to do with meatballs. The meatballs are done now. They've been cooking for about 20 minutes.
Now I have a sauce that I've been cooking for a little while. I'm going to add them to my sauce and I'm going to have spaghetti and meatballs today. And tomorrow I'll probably have meatball subs. So that's all for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you check it out, try out the recipe and check out some of my other recipes. Thank you very much. Bye.